Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. I'm doing this special episode today, again, as we continue our stories of artists working from home. And today, I'm very happy to have with me Mariana Duarte Santos. She's joining us all the way from Lisbon in Portugal. Mariana, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm doing well. Uh, I've been working all day, so uh, <laughs> yes, it's been going okay. Awesome. So for me, breakfast time for you, you already had a productive and busy day, yeah? <laughs> yeah, so far. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So Mariana, we have known each other uh, quite a bit uh, from uh, Instagram as well, social media, yeah. uh, follow each other, follow what you do. You are a printmaker also through the things that we do at the Art Next Level Academy as well. So it's been, a, I think, a couple of years where we kind of known each other back and forth and communicated. But the first time we actually communicate through video. Mariana, tell us a little bit about, you know, what's the situation right now for you in Portugal, particularly in Lisbon? Uh, well, uh, so far in Portugal, we're uh, a bit, um, you know, Spain and Italy are a bit ahead of us. So we started a bit earlier on, you know, containing everybody and okay. putting in the, the social distancing measures. Uh, so far in Portugal, we've got, a, I think, a, as of today, 4,200 cases, uh, mm -hmm. which is, you know, pretty okay. The, mm -hmm. the population of the country is around uh, 10 to 11 million. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, it's not too bad. I think... Uh, 70 people have died so far uh, in the, in Spain it you know it's crazy it's, it's like 700 people a day right, it's, uh, right. it's really, uh, really bizarre bad. so uh, we're at the stage now where we don't know if uh, if we do, if we'll you know get lucky and kind of dodge the bullet or if this mm -hmm. is only starting um you know people have a good feeling about about how things are going on um uh, on the, the we had the, the state of emergency brought in i think on the 18th of march and um, mm -hmm. so that that doesn't mean full quarantine or anything you know nobody's quarantined but uh, all the shops are closed everywhere is closed only supermarkets pharmacies post office so all those things are still mm -hmm. open the schools were closed a week, a week before that uh, okay. a week before the 18th and uh, funnily enough the first thing uh, to close were all the museums and galleries that yes. <laughs> those were closed at the start of the month they, they were the first thing and people were laughing about it because they were saying well <laughs> there's not that many people in museums anyway so <laughs> why are they bothering to close them the football games are still going on and the museums were all closed oh, they were, but, oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> that, that was kind of funny. Uh, yeah, no, so things, uh, so everybody's been uh, self-isolating for yeah. about, I'd say, you know, two to three weeks now, uh, wow. and things are moving slowly, uh, mm -hmm. so maybe we'll be sort of okay. It's still yeah. early well, now, but. So tell me, uh, uh, for you, because you're a printmaker, and you're also I've seen that you do some, like, really large work. I'm going to show some, yeah. some of those pictures as we talk. Uh, you do also some really uh, giant uh, work. So how has this affected you in terms of your of your work? Um, uh, well, it's affected me in several ways. Uh, mm -hmm. So I had uh, two exhibitions, two group shows going on at the start of the month. One of them, uh, we had the opening and then the museum closed the next oh, day. Wow. And the second one, <laughs> the, there did, wasn't an opening at all. Uh, mm -hmm. That second one, they actually did a, a virtual tour. So, so that okay. was good i don't know how, how much attention it's getting or how many people are seeing it because obviously everybody's overwhelmed with everything right now and uh, right, things right. you know don't seem to um mm -hmm. you know get, <laughs> be in people's minds uh mm -hmm. a lot which is understandable then uh, i had uh, several workshops that uh, that i was gonna um mm -hmm. host uh, I actually had a few at the beginning of the year, and this month, March, w was going to be my busiest month. Well, wow. <laughs> that's all cancelled, yeah. of course. Uh, right. Also, classes, weekly classes that I give to uh, two groups of students, th mm -hmm. those were cancelled as well. Uh, mm -hmm. But luckily, I've got uh, two commissions going on. Uh, okay. I've got a big line of code, which is uh, 50 by 90, so... Uh, fairly big it's a right. commission of it's a family portrait uh, oh wow with, you know, on it you know the the, have, <laughs> the person is commissioning it uh wants uh, five copies of the line of code to give to different okay. family members so it's, it's a nice idea and i've been working on that uh, for the last three to four weeks so wow and i still have a, a lot to do on it uh but hopefully in about a week or two, I'll I'll get it printed. I don't know when I'll be able to deliver it, but that's right. a different story. I've been keeping in contact uh, with the the woman who commissioned it. Uh, also, mm -hmm. I've been contact been co uh, keeping contact with my students. Uh, I've sent okay. them loads of 
exercises through WhatsApp. You know, I'll, I'm, uh, yeah. I'll give them little tips. I'm not really focusing on, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are doing uh, Skype classes and all of that. Right. And the, I think that, you know, especially because my students are, um, some of them are, are doctors or they're working very hard, you know, uh, okay. and all those, I don't feel comfortable, you know, uh, kind questions. of selling that to them. So I've just <laughs> been uh, helping them out through texts and, uh, you know, um, yeah. You've been giving them some other way of support. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, well, it is very good that at least, uh, you know, you were able to carry that um, commission work to your yeah. home, right? And be able to work at home. Because I imagine for printmakers, you depend a lot of time on the equipment, the presses yeah. and everything else, which uh, could not necessarily something that you can take home, but as a line of cut, you know, something that you, you know, pretty much just need a table, right? And that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. At uh, least for, at least for, for the production. Print, for, for printing it, I um, uh, it was also, it turned out well too, because in December I bought a, I my first press, a portable mm. press. It's Oh, a, wow, okay. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like, it's a company uh, mm -hmm. that, um, it's an English company. I don't think, you know, they're still sending out presses. I think they've got a few available, but it's a great company. They sell, the presses are very, presses are very accessible. They, I think they were like, it was a uh, 300 euro and it's wow. a, a press that it's uh, uh, 65 uh, centimeters uh, wow. and the, then you can uh, you can have it as long as you wish because you you put a, a slab of wood you know as a mm -hmm. table for the press and the, the that table can be you know a meter and a half long so you can have a, a, a print that's 65 by you know a meter 20 or something so it's wow. a very accessible press it's a, it was a great one so that is really good that's a great, that. and great yeah, price yeah, too. Yeah. the, the company is called the uh, um, Portable printing press. I think that's what they're called. Portable printing press. For all our friends yeah. who are printmakers, maybe right now yeah, watching this. And around. <laughs> no, and, uh, so I had been doing the steamroller prints um, at uh, my uh, great grandfather's um, you know, warehouse. Uh, and obviously, the, in the, I, I only get to print any, there anyway when the simulators are available. They haven't been available for a couple of months now, but uh, maybe when this is all over, uh, I'll get to print again there. Um, but those prints, those liner cuts take a long time to right. produce anyway, so I'll yeah. have, I have enough to keep me busy. Do you structure your day? Because it's kind of a blur, right? Like sometimes you don't know if it's Tuesday or Wednesday or Sunday, right? Because yeah. every day is the same. So how do you structure your day so that you actually you know, have the, have the energy and, and the focus is, okay, I'm, I'm going to sit down and work on the commission. Uh, well, I, um, my days, you know, it hasn't changed much um, since before the quarantine. I, I work mostly in, at night uh, exactly oh, okay. because of the distractions. I find that during the day, you know, everybody's awake. Everybody wants to, to talk. Everybody wants to hang out, right. do all sorts of things. Uh, so, you know, you end up being distracted at, at, and at night you know, time seems to stretch forever. So if I usually start working, uh, you know, I, I work throughout the day anyway, mm -hmm. depending on the days, but I start seriously, you know, foc uh, working, you know, with some focus at about um, half 10 at night and I go on till half three in the morning um, and then I go to bed <laughs> usually. Wow. Uh, yeah, and then I work throughout the day. Uh, it depends. Some days I have to wake up early, some days I don't. But uh, yeah. I one, one thing that I used to... Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know the the main thing for me is the stretches of time so you know if you start working and it's half an hour and you start thinking of something else you want to do something else so i i the system i have i've got you know my big pile of cds you know i love music so i put on a cd and i, I say to myself i have to keep working till the cd is over and that's a good you know 40 minutes at least <laughs> that is uh, a so good one okay keep working yeah. until the cd is over that's nice because it won't it won't work with itunes if you just have a no 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 <laughs> it's just, it's just play forever for the next you know three days but uh, yeah. that's good and play on uh, work until the cd is over so you can have time uh that's a great that's a great one i love it i've got a little um uh, resource for you know anybody that uh, yeah. uh, wants it I, I just joined it um yesterday or the day before yesterday it's something i don't know if you've heard of it called the the artist support pledge uh i saw that yes yeah, yeah. By an artist, his name is Matthew Burrows, and the the concept is pretty simple. It's uh, 
to have um, you know accessible art available to people so uh, you know you put up work that you have for sale for under 200 euro 200 dollars yeah. you know whatever your currency is and then when uh, you hit uh, 1000 euro or 1000 dollars uh, you pledge to buy another artist's work for 200 dollars or 200 euro and i think that's a nice idea i i've yeah. got a few paintings, a few prints uh, that I have available for sale, so I'll be putting those up um, and I'll keep painting and I'll keep printing and uh, drawing and everything. So uh, one thing else that I've noticed is that uh, the work that I've been doing seems to have taken a bit of a, a different ambience uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> since all of this Obviously, began. Because yeah. um, I, I base a lot of my drawings, my paintings and my prints on a uh, still frames from TV shows like The Twilight Zone, The Outer okay. Limits, so all, you know, sci-fi, horror, yeah. uh, you know, psychological drama. Uh, and they, they see, the images now seem to take on a different uh, <laughs> way that they had before. And uh, that's also a bit interesting, I find. Mariana, you've been so awesome. Thank you for all, everything you share, for the resources too. How can our friends find you? on social media and, and if you can share your website too that'd be awesome sure uh, so on Instagram I'm at Mariana 95 centers uh, so all of that together and uh, my website is just my full name so www.marianaeduardsantos.com so awesome I love it well thank you so much Mariana I hope you have an awesome thank day thank you for sharing good luck you on too. that commission you too. Keep on the, the great work. Thank, thank you. you. And we want to say thanks to all our friends watching. Please share this episode with your friends. Mariana and I will be really uh, you know, grateful if you do that. And if you want to reach to Mariana, if uh, you know the conversation um, hit you in some way or fashion, please reach out to her through social media. That would be really awesome. Thank you, my friends. Have a great day. Goodbye.